Welcome to Toffee TV. We are live. Live to the world. Yeah. On, on YouTube. As we, as we like to be now and again. Um, I hope we find everyone well, healthy, not panicking, in a good mental state. Um, yeah. Schools are closed. Schools are closed. Schools are closed. You know what's mad? Go on. My lads are away on residential. Yeah. School. Yeah. Till Friday. So, do you, what do you reckon? Do you reckon they'll just leave them where they are till Friday? Um, oh, I might, it depends though, it depends it what might the might be insurance. Might be mightn't. on the facilities, might you? You might mm. get a phone call, mate. Um, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're live, don't forget. Um, make sure you get your que good question. Listen, gone are the days when we, we just repeat every comment because there's so many of us. So if you want to stand out from the crowd, Let's have some good comments, questions on anything, whether it be football, whether it be um, national emergencies, whether it be on anything. Just make it good. Let's have a chat. Let's know what. Let's have a laugh. Yeah. Let's See, have a laugh. This, there's, there's a bit, everything's a little bit dark, and it. let's just try and lighten it but, slightly. But before we start, I just want to mention something. Uh, a, a good friend and Evertonian, Daniel, in London, he owns his own uh, brewery. Okay. Uh, and he sends us, uh, he, he runs a brewery called Exhale. Exhale, Exhale. Doom, doom, doom. If that's not it's a nice logo. logo that, it is a nice logo, isn't it? Mm. Um, and yeah, so this show, so we just wanted to give him a shout out because he's an absolute, show in he's an absolute, he's an absolute, well, yeah, sort of in partnership with him. Because, well, it will be, it'll be in partnership if a clack's from open. No, but, but I'm, what we're saying is he's, it's kind of a sponsor of this show. It's sort it, of sponsoring the show, yeah. It's, we'll just say it's sponsoring the show. Um, so, what? Big Uttam, he owns a, it's a brewery. He's a, he's a brewmaster actually in London, and he's gonna be, he's doing all kinds of deliveries. Um, and this is where companies have got to like companies, especially like him. He owns like a really nice brewery, and uh, they have a tap room down in London, which I would love to visit. And he's he's been out. He sent us a box, honestly, nice little t-shirt with that's that's their logo. Their logo's amazing. So this, but look at this. What he's he sent us. Uh, four, eight, 12, 16, 20 cans, right? So let's have a look at this. So we sent us, so they already they look gorgeous. Look at that. This is a rise and shine. Um, looks lovely. But on the back, right, there's a little Spotify code that I think you would just do a code on Spotify, scan it on your phone, and it gives you a playlist for each beer. So that's amazing. That's that's the rise and shine. I can put that, can I? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent us this. This is Dortmund Lager. Wow. Oh, the Titan. It's called the Titan. Hello, fella. Right. He sent us. He sent us them. He sent us this Iron Brew. Sour and it has in it. One of the ingredients is iron brew essence. Yeah, we need to. We need to. That's that getting thing. smashed. The, the the cranky. It's called the cranky. The cranky. I like, I like that. Let's just move me. I'll, I'm, I like it. Just move me. And look how nice the can. Have you felt Dirt, them as well? Yeah. I mean, you have kept them like you kept the orange club. So I haven't to touched them. This one is oh, victory. Nice, them, victory they? London, inspired on by the Italian liveness. A shot of a traditional espresso supercharged with Amaro. This intense stout starts with a robust dark malt bill and layers on top of that rich roast of whole espresso beans with our pals at Wood Street Coffee. Oh, I like that. I like I that. Like the I like the sound of them. And this Please one, drink responsibly, by the way. Exhale, pale. Exhale, pale. Pale ale. Yeah. So, there's, there's, so there's on a the back, of them, what's amazing them. is on the back there's this Spotify code. They have a... Um, their own playlist. Each beer has its own playlist. So you can chill out and listen to uh, to, 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 to that. Yeah, there you go. I'm just going to leave them there. Because they all look amazing. Sorry, that I said schools will close from Friday until further notice. Yeah. Sorry, it's just been announced now. They, so, they are open tomorrow and Friday. So um, what's amazing about that is now we can now drink them. Not right now, because no, we've obviously. got to get home. But, uh, oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? And big thanks to Exhale brewery for those check them out they're doing um 
deliveries, aren't they? In the London, in the area. London area. And yeah. uh, go on, just Google XL Brewery. They've got XL Brewery. Obviously, if you're over 18. Yeah, if you're and over 18. Please drink responsibly. Of course, will you please drink responsibly. But, um, yeah. So nice but I think it's important in these times as well. Well, yeah. To support things like this. By the way, they've given us no money for that. that they've just yeah, sent yeah. us some beers to taste for them. And it was... We, we thought it was important to put these so people know. Because what there's going to be in the next few weeks is a lot of businesses struggling that are going to have to change the way they do their business. There's another, there's a one in Liverpool as well that we're, we're going to do something with as well. And they're mm. doing exactly the same. They're just bringing us a couple of beers up so we can show you how nice the beers are. And you can order their beers. You won't be able to go in there. Pu the pub's still open for now. But mm. a lot of places will be like this. A lot of businesses. And... Um, and, and if if any of those businesses want to like jump on, like you know, send us some cakes or something, no chocolate because we're not eating chocolate no. in the studio. No, but even regardless of that, if you can, if you can, yeah, in these difficult if times, you support your local. Yeah, your if, local you wanna, things, if you want to, if you've got a business, if you want, if you've got a business and you want a little shout out, give us, give get us, you know, get get in touch with us. I've seen something from this has got nothing to do with us, but I'd seen something on Twitter the other day. Um, someone who owned a chippy in L thirty one, it was gonna give fish and chips to elderly people today it was actually if they got in touch with them and I think that's amazing because it may be people who are stuck and can't get out um, and obviously worried about the coronavirus yeah. or whatever and this chippy was on the, it was on Twitter I think I can't even remember apologies I can't remember the name of it but I'd seen someone put it out and say you know fish and chips for people who, uh, who can't get out about so I thought that was really good and it is massively important in these times to try to help each other and to try to support local businesses yeah. if you can because uh, we've had Stian today and he's had you know he, he knows the full impact of this from a personal level yeah, in yeah. terms of employment this week I've seen lots of other people I've seen people on Twitter saying I've just been let go from my job and all that it's not great but let's try and lighten it anyway let's try and lighten the mood yeah lighten the mood yeah I mean uh, regardless if it's tough times and it is 29 likes isn't acceptable, just saying. Jay Essing, that's all I'm saying. He's saying, you've said it. Said it, now it's out there. 120 odd, are you watching so far? That'll rise 30, now see, one of you is all over here. But that's how easy it is. Press, one second, done. Done. Anyway, where are we up to? Let's get into some comments. What do we know? Get onto Patreon, let's see what's happening. Go on, you get on Patreon, go on, and get some comments going. Okay. Let's go, let's go. I'll search YouTube for the best comments. Oh, I fit... Oh, well, the ra we love the Woody Riders. They are great questions. Um, here we go, live at five. That for that, please. Live at five. Patron comments. Are we ready? Gary Ward says, howdy. Hello, Gary. The first one of the day. Gareth, howdy, Gary. Always starts with a howdy. Gareth's all over it. Uh, Gareth says, hi, lads. Who do you think would win in a fight? Jordan Pickford armed with garden shears or Howard from Take That armed with a snooker ball and a footy shock? Um, Pickford, because of his... He's got youth on his side. Mm. Very... Uh, yeah. I think he could, Howard's what, mid-40s I think Howard. Pickford could get away, out of the way of the snooker ball. I think he could see it coming. Quite agile. I, I'd worry it might go, it'd go under him as well, mm. which would help him. Mm. Okay. All right, fair enough. Simon Rouse says, evening all, evening Simon. Uh, Blue Boy Stew says, now then, at last, live a five-ish all day, my missus has been in my ear. This is my escape. There you go. That's Working we are. from home it is. Day one, and I'm looking for a shovel and a bag of lime. <laughs> Richard Folks says... <laughs> Richard Folks... <laughs> I can't believe he's been so precise. I couldn't possibly comment. And Richard, a desert. Richard Folks says, even gents, not being able to catch much over the last week. That is good. You don't want to be catching anything. Well, yeah, but now you've got it all to catch up on. Mm. But how stupid the UEFA signing an agreement to get seasons finished by June 30th. They have no idea what position any of the countries will be in come the next mm. month, never mind you. I mean, you say stupid, Richard, but what they've done is they've agreed that if it isn't done by that date, it's over. So th there has to be a cut-off point. This is what some people very much have read persuasion and um, when they say things like it doesn't matter about next season just let's finish this season 
There's not a chance those same people would be saying that if it was Man United, they were 25 points clear or whatever. The The reality is there has to be a cut-off point so that next season can mm. begin. Next season, now, next summer, has the Euros 2021 now. It also has the Copper America next summer. Yeah. So there's, there's a time scale, and I think actually by setting a time scale of what it needed to be done by is, was, the, was quite a sensible thing to do. Because otherwise you're left in limbo, aren't you, really? Mm. But I agree, no one's... I don't think we're going to know, certainly in the next two or three weeks, where we're up to with this thing, but we'll have to see what happens. Adam Conroy says, Howdy, Gary. Uh, hey, guys, how are we? Hope you're keeping well, though I would share something different. Sorry, thought I would share something different from a break from the virus. I volunteer for a charity called Teach, T -E, e C H. We travel every summer to Eastern Europe, mainly Moldova, and supply children with proper clean indoor flushing toilets for the their first for the first time at their school, which is brilliant. That's amazing. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because we've been sponsored by a certain service provider who sponsored the charity and let us use two uh, let us use two of their lorries to take what we need to Moldova. However, this time, the provider, rhymes with BT, uh, got a new CEO who's cut all of the funding and ties with our charity and treated us pretty bad, Excuse to be me. honest. So we now need to find funding to run the trip and for two lorries to help us carry this important work. So I know this is a long comment, so even if you were able to just give Teach and or our website, teach.org, a shout out, it will be a massive help and greatly appreciated. Love the work you guys do. If there's anybody out there who can help Adam or know who Adam could speak to, uh, obviously they've had their funding cut by someone else, go to the teach, t -E -C -H dot org website, um, see if you can do anything or point Adam in the right direction or help him if you are one of those people. Um, yeah, so keep up the great work, Adam. That's incredible, doing things like that. It really is. Uh, thinking of others before yourself outstanding mm. uh, Eric says Corona sucks does Bobby C 1878 says as COVID-19 is the worst peacetime crisis for a century what possible moral justification rather than financial greed is therefore completing this season before the season is comparatively sorry for the situation is comparatively stabilised and that could be months away Keith Powell responds with TV companies who signed a 3 billion deal I guess not much flexibility in there. Um, and Bobby C also says, just being announced that schools will close from the end of Friday until further notice, with special arrangements for children of key workers and also for vulnerable children. Your thoughts and what effect will this have on you? Well, me personally, I've still got, I've got a daughter who's in university. She is training to be a teacher. She's in a final year. So that massively affects her. A, a uni's already said it's closed till next year, next uh, school, you know, next school year, mm. so to speak. And obviously, if the schools are closed, she's not going to be able to complete her, her degree. So that's massive for her. Yeah. Um, my eldest lad's working at the moment, so we'll have to see what happens with him. But I've also got a nine-year-old who's in school, so quite clearly, we're now going to have him at home for at least a month because. That means that this closure is going to kind of include Easter. So, yeah, well, which that's, is, that's which is like four weeks. So hopefully, within the next four weeks, we'll move on again. Things have moved on. Yeah. Since last week, haven't they? Um, and things are moving on. Maybe there's a draw. Apologies, internet's not been great. I think it's because of the demands that are being placed on it. Maybe um, up and down the country, but it's it's been a little bit in and out. Hopefully, that's sorted it out now because I've just reset it. Okay, um, where are we? Lucas says, Sup fellas, Cavo here from Alice Springs, mate. Since life is a bit strange at the moment, I've decided to make a change in my life. I've decided that I'm going to be getting up at 1am Australian <laughs> WA time so I can watch you guys and also fit in loads of other things like the gym, personal hobbies. I was, was going to say, can I just... I was Mark Wahlberg does something very does, stiff, very similar yeah, and I've up, always wanted to do he it. He gets up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Does anyone feel like they should be getting fitter in this time? Use it to get fitter. That's what I'm saying. Does anyone feel, I know, like, I know... One of the things they've said is you can go outside for if you is to exercise. Mm -hmm. 
And I just feel like this could be a brilliant song. Like, this could be a montage period. Imagine you could have montages in life. Mm. Where you just got, like, by the end of it, you were just, like, dead fit and mm. dead healthy. I'm nine pounds down. No, I've right. lost nine pounds since we started the, the thing. You know, I've been... I've, chocolate diet. Non-chocolate diet. So, you know what? My fitness pal, as well. And just no, stopping, no. just stopping binging on stuff, really. And what it's made me do is I've, I've been doing more... Um, Making sure to get more steps in, and you know more physical weight, more press ups and things like that, and just and and you're right. It I suppose it kind of make because well, the, the best th thing you can do is boost your. Well, immune I was going to say on the other side of it is we're seeing um, people who are talking about like having these underlying health problems. Mm. This is a real like this should this whole thing should be a real kick up the ass to people to say that the difference between getting a very mild case of this mm. and essentially being on a ventilator maybe Hospitalized. is can be i think yeah. it's important you say can be yeah but all right yeah can be you're mm. right can be just your general state of health yeah if you're health you're yourself, fit yeah. and if you're f fit and you've got no problems then this thing should just come and go no matter what mm. like anything like it's like footballers for footballers very rarely get like colds or the mm. flu or whatever or get that general kind of sickness that a lot of us feel they are fantastic lifestyles that help that as well mm. but i think if we can all maybe use this time it's, it's be easier for some than others and again i'm not i might even do it myself because i'm a lazy so and so mm. but um do whatever you can while you've got this chance go for a walk if you can an hour mm. a day they've told you that you even if the, you can still go out walking just keep your distance and you'll have things near you like where i like sefton park not far croxteth hall park croxteth hall park is amazing right because once you get into it and you go in the meadow, you could you feel like you could be anywhere. Just anywhere. Anywhere. Oh, you know, can't yeah. see the world outside. No. It feels like it's just its own little I thing. I think the, the thing is, well, I've I seen um, one of the leading immunisation um, doctors this morning mm. talking about your immune system and yeah. what you can do for it. But one of the big things was the um, was your exercise, you know, keeping your fitness up. Because what it does is, even if you get it, it means they can it can reduce in half the time. Yeah. So you can really cut down your. She said, "There's no real evidence to say that if your immune system is amazing, that you won't still pick stuff up. But what you will do is you'll recover from it much, much quicker. And the yeah. best way to boost your immune system is through exercise yeah. and it's through um, me me strength for your work. mental health as well. And for your mental, for your mental health, health yeah. get out on a bike." Or get out and have a walk. Yeah, have a walk. Walk like fresh air. Loads of people out there, thing. especially with fitness, is it's very daunting at first. That's why we have things like the uh, couch to five k things, where yeah, it's like a little bit at a time. Important. And the idea for some people of doing a five k race or a ten k race or even up to a marathon is just seems impossible. Go and have a walk. Go and have a walk for an hour. Go and have a walk for an hour, and then go. Well, go on. I'll do that a few times a day, and then go uh, a few times a week, and then go. You know what? I've only got half an hour. How about I have a little jog, little run, jog, little run walk session, and then that's how you do it. Get on a bike. I always call going on a bike for the exercise. Yeah, well, it is, isn't it? You know, when you were a kid and you were riding your bike, did you ever think you were exercising? You were going out because mm. you needed to get round and you wanted to have a laugh with your mates and yeah. pull wheelies and skids and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's free exercise. Once you get out there and you get past that little bit of hard bit of of getting out the front door. That's the thing. It's don't forget everything becomes habitual, and so if you get into a routine of getting up and doing stuff, get up, go out for a walk, whatever, all of a sudden that becomes I do that. I've got to get up and do that. Whereas at first, the most difficult thing with anything is starting. Or oh, you get into stop, the stopping and start. Or oh, the, the greatest habit you can ever get into is I can't wait to go and do that. Hmm? That's the greatest hmm. habit you can ever get into. Well, you'll into. know, you ran a marathon and that's it. Train, it was, you know, and that it seems, is so And difficult. it seems berserk now. But I bet you were like, you couldn't wait to go and do that, the exercise. Most days, yeah. I'm, you most days I was, I was like, not, I didn't really enjoy it, I must admit. Mm. But most days I was chomping on the bit because what I did do, and this is a big thing, is I'd made a pledge to do it. My sister had just been diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. I wanted to do something mm. that <coughs> felt like I was doing something. Yeah. Essentially, felt like yeah, I was yeah, doing course, something. Yeah. And I remember someone telling me at the time, saying to me at the time, "What, what made you, what made you do this?" 
I remember well, my sister's getting like injections through her stomach with needles about that long. If she can do that, I can go for a run. And you know what? What's mad is you don't think you can do something. And I think I'd been running a couple of weeks. And I remember I was like, my brother in law challenged me. He said, There's a marathon coming up. I was like, Behave. My brother in law's a great, absolutely superb runner. Um, and he's one of those people who's it's a mindset mm. rather than a, like anything else. He can get into that mindset. Mm. Very different person. Like he could go on the aisle on a, on the night before and go, go for a run the next day and not have to stay the year. No problem for him. No, honestly, he's nuts. We've told no, him. No, like, no, he's nuts. Um, but he still needs to be careful. And it's a mindset. You get yourself into that mindset. And I remember, I remember, I had an app. I had it was good. It was like an Adidas app. It was really good on my phone. And basically, you set, you, I just literally set the thing to run a marathon. And it, I had to like, there's a date, and it was like get to this date. Mm. And you, just, but I'd missed like the early part. If that made any yeah, sense, you're yeah, supposed yeah. to run it. Totally, so I'd yeah. skipped all the way. And like one of my first training things you skipped was skipped the marathon all the way. Basically, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's, I was so happy <laughs> um, with my bleeding nipples. Yeah. Um, it, which was weird because that had never happened to me before. Don't. But it did in a marathon. And I had two big blood circles. Uh, it, was, it was so. It was like, oh, you know, when you get all the pictures and you're like, anyway. And it, but I had to do like one of the things was in that week. I I really got into really got into it was. I had to run non-stop for I think fifty minutes. Yeah. I'd never done that before. And I think that was one of the things. And then on the Sunday, I had to run. Uh, it, it said. It said. I think it was. I think it was. I think it was nine miles. I had to run. Na like nine miles off the. So I parked my car at Costco. And I run from Costco down to where the prom finishes at Crescenton. And I run back. And by the time I got to the Albert Dock, my knees are completely gone. Like I was literally. Yeah. Like, you know when you see people quibbling, quibbling. I was. I was literally. Yeah, you will do. Shook jelly, all yeah. the way. Hmm? Thought I was going to have a heart attack, genuinely. Rung Sam and said, just run me at the coldest bath you can possibly. Yeah. Drove home somehow. Got home, just fell into this bath. Ice bath, did an ice bath. Mm. And then about two or three days later, I had to do it all again. So I think I didn't actually run the amount I should have run. I think I was a couple of miles short. Mm. But, I, but, but at least I, it was a start. You've done it, yeah. And then that gives you the confidence. Another day, I was, you, you know, you, what you always have to do is like on a Sunday, you have to have a big run on a Sunday. So, so one of the runs I did was, I went to uh, Sandhills, parked yeah. my car up, yeah. got a train up to uh, up to Freshfields, yeah, and then run run from Freshfields down to Waterloo. Right, <laughs> number one, running on sand. Oh my God, yeah, destroyed, destroyed me groin. Destroyed you, but also toughened it all up. It was also the Southport. Um, Air show that day, I had all kinds of MIG fighters fly, flying over my head, dead low as I was running. Got to, there's a part, you run, you can run all the way down the beach, but you get to a part where there's actually like, I think it's the the River Alt starts. It's where okay. it starts, yeah, comes yeah. in from the Mersey. Yeah. And it was too wide, I couldn't get across couldn't it. Get so I had to go in, and I was going over this field, and when I went over the field, I discovered it was the shooting range for Alt Course. Or Alt Cart, is it? The, the, yeah, the, Alt the, All courses of prison. Yeah, oh, well, that would have been easier. Mm -hmm. There was a shooting, and, and if they'd been live, they'd been shooting live bullets, and I'm just like... Running so then I'm having to run like through Formby, like residential areas of Formby, and then I got myself back onto the beach, and then run down, run down. I got to Waterloo, I think it was like 12 and a half miles, and then I had to, and then I got on the same, got on the car. I did another one, I think it was my last big run. I'd done one where I had to run... I planned it all out because it's dead hard planning long runs yeah, in Liverpool because yeah, yeah, yeah. you find yourself very you know I run from Liverpool I run from Mars Old Swan down through um, no the fat uh, the roundabout on page uh, on uh, not Broadway no 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 uh, what's, the, what's the area uh, toward, uh, towards towards um, oh, I've lost my mind here. Heighten. By, no, by Alderay. Alderay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alderay. By where Aldi is. Yeah, I run down there. Yeah. I had to run down to... Like Derby. Yeah, sort of. I run, And then I had to run down to... Um, towards um, Heighton, down yeah. that way. Mm. I had to and run... Liverpool Road. Roll the way down to... Uh, through... Um, my mind's completely gone, gone here. On the bottom road, on Heighton. Then down towards Widnes. Yeah. And then when I got to Widnes, I had to come back up. Towards Rainhill, mm. then through Rainhill, through Pre Whiston, Prescott, Prescott, and yeah. then down 
down Prescott Road, back to ours. Yeah. That was another one. Another one I had to do was run from ours down to the East Lanks, run all the way to the East Lanks, across St. Helens, yeah. right? And then down past the Safari Park to, to ours. That was a 20 mile run. That was my last big run. But I had to take a rucksack with me full of water as well. People forget these things. Because you've got to drink. Because I'm having to drink as well. Drink, yeah. And um, I literally got to about Page Moss and my legs completely went. But I just kept on going, kept on going, got home. And then that was my last run. And then I did the marathon like three weeks later. And it's it's the runs where there's no one about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pitch black, pissing down. No one there to support you. No one to push you on. No one telling you it's going to be okay. Your, your, your phone's gone dead, so you've got no music. You've got no motivation. You're literally just doing it off, the, off your own back. And it's that thought that once you stop of having to do that again, that makes you not want to do it. So Difficult. It's... Um, yeah, so, Cavo, yeah, go out in the middle <laughs> of the night and uh, it's the longest answer ever. Go out in the middle of the night and do it. Mark Wahlberg does do something similar. The Rock does as well. What he said was he doesn't always do that. It depends on what job he's on. Yeah. But he does do it. And um, it's good, mate, because you turn it into a positive for now. And you might not, you know, you might not get this opportunity again where everything has to stop for a little bit. And that's what you'd have to look at it as. You know, you have to look at it as an opportunity. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult times. But, you know, try to look for the positive in it. That's what I'm trying to say, I think. Ben H says, watch the Singapore Premier League game earlier while I was working from home. Balestia, Kalsa 2, Hugang United 2, cracking game. What the Hugang? Yeah, Hugang United goalkeeper was an absolute liability. Um, I personally wouldn't, but some might say he could do a job for the... Singapore women's national team. That was in, yeah, madness. Joe Max says, if you're escaping the city the city tower in a movie, what song or music would you have playing over that scene? This is obviously going on from yeah. yesterday. Oh, I don't know. That's a good, really good question. Let me, think about that. Let me Come back a, to that, Joe Max. Throw a Hang on, Anthony Stubb says something important. Peter okay. Whittingham is not dead. We know. That's and that's good news. He's fighting for his life and hopefully... Let me throw through. a question out to the audience. We discussed this on, 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 I think, our live show yesterday for our patron audience. Really good question was, in the in whatever city you live in, mm. we were talking about Liverpool, obviously, if there was a zombie apocalypse, where would you go? And to I escape it. To escape it, and we want to know the reasons. Ours was... Basically, well, like, to hide out, wasn't it? Where would be the most appropriate place mm. to go in your city and tell us why? We ended up in... Mine was Costco. But you, you've gone to the city tower and that's all you are of it. But we, we settled on Costco. Costco was we? the place. Costco was. Imagine the... The... We could live in Costco, we decided, didn't we? Oh, definitely. Definitely. And definitely. it would keep you, keep you keep rationed you, for a very long fine. time. Yeah. Trampolines, Everything. basketball, to all keep you busy. Yeah. All the computers, all the food, uh, freezers to put all the food in. But I needed uh, the, the t- at least two women to be there. For, um... Just two women? Well, two men, actually, to give the uh, the samples out. Could be men or women. That's what we agreed yesterday. We okay. needed samples, didn't we? Couldn't you do your own samples? I know, but I, you, you want to start with someone sh- giving you the samples. What you're saying is you want someone to cook for you. No, because I cook. There's enough to cook for myself. I can cook for myself. So you need that fantasy. Would we be together or on our own? <laughs> I think it was basically on your own, but I think we threw it together as in like... Because yeah, otherwise it'd be... We could do shows. we get bored. we do shows. Yeah, but we've got all kinds of cameras and laptops there, Definitely, haven't we? Yeah. Lot of webcams. If you're on your own, you'd be a bit bored, wouldn't you? But then again, you're trying to escape... But well, you're, trying to, you're trying to... But by going to this place... See, mm. this is why it's a very layered question. You can't just say, well, I've locked myself up in this room. Mm. Have you got food? Have Can you got you entertainment? Survive, yeah. Have you got the... Have you got enough in that place it's that actually occupied. wants to keep you alive to stop you from getting taken over by a zombie because basically you life's could, only you worth be, living no but you could be the last bastion of humanity yeah. so you'd have to stay alive but if you were the last bastion of humanity yeah. what would be the point oh yeah because you, you, you've to got nothing with it, you know it? you're not can't just there isn't like a youtube well, maybe there is a youtube video to how to like populate the world through and artificial you know, assimilation you couldn't could you because there's no women to populate with who knows Science. No, you might just go sit and wait for the zombies to take you. But again, no, I But I reckon it's just a case of you'd ride that out and then that then they'd be done and then you'd be able to go to like the next town and there's and Do it's you know normal what would be again. a good one though? If you lived in a port, right? Mm. And there was like a cruise ship just just there. You know, yeah. like the way you can grand theft. Yeah. You can just like get on to yeah, and take yeah. it and dive off. Yeah. 
So what have Sail you, away. What have you could like, like go full in you? Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sail away. I want a hundred likes full here. Full David Gray. Um, yeah. What if you could just like get the boat? Yeah. Put it in gear and go and just like drive it to a boat. See, I wouldn't go full. I'd go. I'd go just past the the the, the mouth of the River Mersey. Right. So I could. So not on the bar. So I'd turn round. Yeah. So I could see the city. See, yeah. You know, Bramley Moor is going to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, keep that'll keep me mentally sane. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Right. But then I've got all the utilities of this of this ship, as long as there's no zombies on in there, of course. Um, and there's no chance of them getting to me. They're not going to swim. They can't swim. Okay. The zombies. Can't swim. And. Um, I can see the the city's keeping me sane. Yeah, well, if there's no like, if there's no hope of it getting any better, what's the point? Like you said, uh, Yannick Melendez says favorite Mario Kart character and why? Mario. Mario, yeah. The rest why? The, just because the rest are just bitches in his game. Uh, Bobby C says, "Did you see the interview? It's <laughs> genuine." Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just stick with Yannick because he's got literally the greatest answer to that question. Best place for a zombie apocalypse is Colorado Springs. In Colorado Springs is NORAD, top secret military facility dug out inside a mountain for satellite fitted with a bomb shelter. Yannick wins. Yeah, I think I think Yannick's. I mean, got we it. liked Costco, but Yannick wins. But could only you, if there's food. Though. But could you get into NORAD though? But could you get into it? See, that's the question, isn't it? It's fine saying you've got NORAD, but what if it's shut? <laughs> you ain't getting in, are you? You ain't getting into NORAD. Costco, I think I could get into. Blue Boy Shoe, who yeah. commented before that he needs a shovel, says, me missus heard the comment. <laughs> Forget lime and shovel, I'm now looking for a very hard hat. Well, do you reckon that the um, the divorce rates could go through the roof? One of the, first, thing, one of the first things that happen in China is people come out of isolation and, and um, loads ask for divorces. A, because they don't like being them, or they go, this has been my, this is a wake-up call, I'm on a new bed. Bit of both. Or a new man. Bit of both. Okay. Maybe Trap. you've just, like, done done a year's worth in a couple of months. Okay. Bobby C said, did you see the interview? Brackets. It's not, it's genuine, not a wind-up. Of three older ladies who've decided to isolate themselves as a group and admit it's a bulk buying, but of wine. Fantastic attitude, cheery attitude by people who've seen a lot of life. I suppose you, you can look at it like that and go, tell you what, should we just live together for a few weeks, get some ale in, and let's just have a laugh, because we're not going anywhere, so we're not going to get it or give it to anyone. No? Lions, he's 65, said, lads, what do you think about the armed forces possibly being deployed on the streets to help emergency services? Being a former soldier, does it mean that they can't get the virus? What I would say to that is, I think the minute you put armed... Uh, it, uh, the, the army on the streets mm. is that you are basically creating panic and the minute you create panic people feel this panic well you know what I mean try and keep things as calm as possible and it, to be fair I do believe that's what they're trying to do because I've said this from the start the wrong word will see a run on the banks and the once once they go to the banks we're all done if there's no money see it makes me laugh that people are being like I've heard that there was a few people going to like petrol stations why? You ain't going anywhere. No, I can't go nowhere. You're in your house. People you should be saving money. You're saving money by not going out. Some people are strange, mate. Just right, I understand. I understand, even though I don't agree with the food stuff. I understand that people panic. They do panic because nothing has been because the government don't give enough leadership. I've just been to a supermarket just before I come in here. I walked in. I grabbed a couple of items that we needed: coffee and tea. And I come in and I got served straight away. Someone let me in front of them. He's an Everton, he had a coat on, uh, part of the brand. And um, I, I was in and out, out yeah. I was in and out two minutes. I got what I needed and I was in and out. Mm. And if more people did that, supermarkets aren't going to shut. The last no. resort will be. I know Tesco are cutting down the 24 hour stores. Mm. The reason for that is so that they can stock the shelves for the next day. And that's fully, that's mm. that's good. And also, that keeps people from leaving their house late at night. They said they'll be able to. Clean bits exactly. of well while they're out. That's so sensible. I understand that. That's sensible. The shop on the corner of the street, as long as they're sensible. I've got one literally a minute's walk. I could walk in there at any time, pick up some milk. Probably not the milk hygiene, which is like I'm on milk at the moment. Mm. But I could go in there and grab whatever I needed if I was in desperate need. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. What can you do? Stop. The people need to stop. Like, oh, what I'm hoping is everyone's done the panic buying now. Mm. Next week, you can just walk into the shop. Because there'll be no one there. You no. just get what you need. Keith Powell says, this going to cost your eldest daughter an extra nine yeah, grand. Uh, possibly, I mean, she's my daughter. I, I don't 
She's my eldest child. She's me. I've only got one daughter. Uh, possibly, Keith, I don't know. They might just tag it on to a, uh, you know, student loan Again, or whatever. Spoke. But Government. It's up to them. They should all be getting paid See, for. I'm thinking that I reckon the schools will be back open in about four or five weeks. And if that's the case, I think she needs to do another eight weeks. So if so, four or five weeks, say it's the end of April, middle of April, end of April, then she could theoretically just about finish what she needs to by the first week in July. Mm. So, but I, but the reality to that is, Keith, I don't know. That, that's the reality. Mike Barrett says, "What's that gonna do? He's no he's got so, no school, no know. PlayStation." Sorry, um, Steve EFC said, "Guys, this is Everton Live at five, not Mel." Mel Smith and, and uh, Griff Reach Jones Hour. Okay, give me something to talk about about Everton, and I will get. I will talk about it. There is nothing to talk about Everton. We call it that because it means that people know that we're two Evertonians. And well, it's the, it's there. We're responding to questions. Yeah. Steve. So give us an Everton question that we can yeah. respond We've to. We've said loads of times. This is your. This is the show. You ask us questions. We don't. We do live shows on. We're doing live shows on Patreon where. It's people, agenda. It's a, there's an agenda. There and if people want to ask there. questions, Joe, there's no agenda on this. It, it's everything and anything. Would you rather be inflated like a balloon or vacuum packed like a clothes in a suitcase? Good one. I think vacuum packed. What was the first one? Inflated like a balloon. I'd rather be inflated. Okay. But then again. Being an Evertonian, I'm just used to being deflated. <laughs> That's what that is. Uh, yeah, that is a good one from Gareth. This might make Steve happy. Uh, who is the best non-UK and Irish player ever to play for Everton? Andre Kinchelskis. Rules out the, all the usual names, Ball, Dean. I'd Andre go with Kinchelskis. Garrett's gone with um, Kinchelskis. It... Kinchelskis was genuinely world class. Yeah, he was amazing. Wasn't he? He was amazing. He was, every time you, he shot, you thought it was going to be a goal. He was amazing. I reckon Richarlison could be up there if he carries on. As being it for like being important, um, Romelu Lukaku, one of the best strikers to play for Everton, he wasn't UK, but Kinsel as a genuine world class player, it was um, definitely Andre Kinselskis. Mm. But yeah, uh, Paul McAllister wants to know if there's any good film suggestions, Ped, preferably something dark and gritty. Anything um, you've seen lately that's dark I've and gritty. I, what, I mean, this is not dark and gritty. I watched um, Ford versus Ferrari. That's good. It's not dark and gritty, mm. but it's good. Um, I watched Birds of Prey the other day. Crap. I watched. Oh, Ad was it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like it. I watched Ad Astra. <sighs> rubbish. It's not rubbish. It's just weird. Mm. Basically, it's about Brad Pitt. He's yeah. an astronaut. It's in yeah. the near future. And the Earth comes under some kind of like bombardment from like a. Some kind of like energy pulse. Yeah. And they reckon it's this our fella who's on a spaceship just by Neptune. Okay. And he has to go from like the Earth to the Moon and he actually goes via, via Virgin Air Airlines. Oh, dear. yeah, yeah. And then he has to go from the Moon. And on the, the Moon has got, uh, uh, he has to go to this other site on the Moon where, this, where he's going to get a rocket to Mars. And when he's and when he's on Mars, Mars is like no one owns Mars. So there's, there's pirates, but this is a dead series, like arty film. Like a lot of it's really it arty. Mad. So the pirates start chasing him, and then he gets on a rocket from Mar the moon to Mars, where something happens on that which is bizarre. And then he gets to Mars and he's got to try and send a message to his dad. It's very very arty. It's like the first proper arty like science fiction film I've ever seen. Some people will absolutely love it, and some people will go, "What is this crap? It's so weird." In parts of it, mm -hmm. um, it really, it really is. It really is weird. So madness. What about? Let's have a little. Come on, let's. Let's have a look on YouTube. Come on. Let me look through. En Van says, "I'm going to CDC. I live in Atlanta, and that place is locked down. Plus, they may have the cure." Didn't they go to CDC in The Walking Dead? And didn't he tell them that they all had it? That's what it was. Told that yesterday, didn't I? You did That's where it was. They went to CDC in Atlanta for a cure because they thought that would be the best place to go. Yeah. And the scientist said, we've all got it. He whispered it in his ear. That's not good. So that's not good. Okay. Um, Andy Walker says... Yeah, go on. 40. Ex-Celtic, obviously. Says, I think the season should be stopped, but in reward for their achievements, Liverpool should be given a special award... 
I can't say what you said it's called. Oh, okay. For legal reasons. Um, what would be the special award? Certificate for the fridge. An asterisk. Asterisk. No, I mean, listen, we've said this before. They, they deserve to win it the miles ahead, but it, they can't be given it because it's it hasn't been completed. They can't give something incomplete. Yeah. And the reality is they haven't won it yet. No. But if, if it became null and void, whatever, do you think they should be given anything? To say that, no, I'm being serious. No, now, no, I, I think, I think. Um, do you think this should be like a? No, because no, no, because it's null and void. It's null and void. Mm. They will always have the memories of nearly winning it. It's difficult that though, isn't it? Imagine if it was us. Imagine oh. that it was us. Imagine that for some reason in history. Right, what's no left? What's been, the no, name? but imagine that though. Imagine in history you'd been stopped from completing something that you wanted to complete. I don't know. It's a difficult one. Tara cases should Everton and the rest of the Premier League. Premier League clubs give financial assistance to the lower league clubs. I think they should try to do something because lower league clubs will be hit well worse than us, won't they? They are. Yeah, they will be. Because they've no match I days. Think, I think. Them. I think. There's got to be something. I think we're going to see teams go to the wall. We heard Barnett yesterday announcing that he'd had to uh, lay off everyone, which is you understand. There's no work. No. I'm no not. work. No pay. Premier. The problem with the Premier League clubs is. Again, though, what I will say is to everyone out there, we've got, we've got, um, we've got no direction on this at all. So no. we don't know when things are going to be done. So the club, what, what can the clubs do? If Premier League clubs don't know when football is going to start, maybe we'll know tomorrow. If they don't know when it's going to restart, how do they know how long they're not going to have footy for? We all know that Premier League clubs are all rich, but they're all rich because of TV money. The TV money could be stopped. So yeah. then how does that money drip down to those other clubs? See, football clubs might say, well, hang on. You want us to pay our players who aren't playing, play our staff who aren't working, pay match day people who aren't turning up because there's no match days, mm. and you want us to give money to teams below us. So you want us to have a social conscience, but... How can we do that? It's difficult, isn't it? Because if they don't know the date they're going to restart football, or if next season's going to start at the right time, mm. or if whether they're going to the payments is going to be fulfilled, yeah, you know, it, 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 this is where there needs to be. This is where I think it's still just a little bit too early to start being talk talk about this, yeah. and we might need to take it on a case by case. We um, just don't. We just don't know, do we? There's too many variables at the moment, but. What can you do? At the end of the day, we are in a situation where there's so much going on. We have to, we need it to come from the top. It's not coming from the top. So it feels at the moment it's like every man for themselves. And it will be because this is why you're seeing Liverpool, ex Liverpool players all over the TV telling us why it must be completed. Would they be all over the TV if Man United were top or Man City were top? Exactly. They wouldn't be they wouldn't be interested. They'd be saying what everyone else is saying, which is, you know, finish it off or whatever. It, and it's it's more it's more like in terms of football it's not it's not really important but what I would say if yeah you... this is home and bargain okay go on right a message to all of our staff thank you for your amazing work during this unprecedented time we want you to feel secure during the turbulent pe period so we've created a 30 million pound coronavirus fund to financially support you during the outbreak this will include paying staff that need to self-isolate for up to two weeks by maintaining their pay during this period and to support team members in high risk groups mm. that need to isolate for longer periods. If staff do not need to isolate self isolate between now and December, they will pay be paid two weeks extra salary so they do not miss out for more details on uh, eligibility. Mm. Our dedicated staff are working around the clock to keep our stores open so we can continue to serve all of our communities. We have a robust Supply chain in place and we'll continue to support the country, whatever it takes, Brilliant. to ensure all our customers get the products they need. We're limiting the maximum number you can buy of some items and we would like to prioritise the first hour of opening for vulnerable customers. Please, could non-vulnerable customers not shop during this first hour of every day? Uh, thank you for everyone for all your support and patience. We will get through this together. That is absolutely brilliant yeah, yeah. by Home and Bargain. Looking after the staff and looking after Everyone the community. Needs to do that. Absolutely incredible. And the government needs to be rewarding these 
um, firms and people like this by saying there's no, you know, we're going to suspend this and we're going to suspend that. Not smirking when you're giving statements like apparently he just has. Um, evictions to be banned for at least three months as part Good. of the measures. Good. But what happens at the end of the three months? I don't then? know, but that's a start. No, it is a start. It's but a start. again, no, it's not clarity though. I think everyone's looking for a bit of clarity on the on this. Um, let's get some more Everton questions. Yeah, go on. There must be forty questions there. It, so. um, let's have a look. Not many Everton questions. Um, Everton honest. have apparently said they expect the season to be. So if we do, season go down one more. Everton are apparently said they expect the season to be completed. But that that yeah, but is not what I've heard, Sophie. It's, it's not. That doesn't matter what you what people hear or what people think. Mm. There's, there's, this this isn't this isn't like a thing that can happen. It, it, it in terms of like what people think. This is this virus doesn't care what you think. Doesn't care what anyone thinks. Doesn't no. care about anyone's plans. It'll all come down to that. James Hardwick says, are we signing Gabriel? Possibly. I think that's the plan. Um, the human toad says, would you rather have bananas for fingers or bananas for toes? Toes. See, I'd rather fingers because I I, I like still like playing footy. So... You can't get to play, just have bigger boots. No, you wouldn't get control. And with you, your hands, with big what bananas about, on your hands. But I'd, I'd feel better about that. What about? Why? But what if it was playing footy? You're that big finger like that. What if I was trying to play your PlayStation? You only play footy for so long. Yeah, You'd say that. But what happens no. if you're playing footy and you get like squ someone squishes your foot, your feet? You're well, that's the way it is, isn't it? I don't want that to be the way it is. I would lean. Say you're playing. Do you not think you'd learn? Do you not think you'd learn faster? Playing no. PlayStation? No, because no? you'd be out holding your pat. No, definitely for feet. That's just me. You, you, have, right. you have your fingers like that. I'm all right. Weird, though. I'm, I'm happy. It's good. I'm happy um, with that. Where are we? Where are you? See, UFTT saying this isn't going to peak till the summer. You don't know, mate. That's the reality. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. They don't, though, do they? Trouble. You know, it's guesswork, which is why we are where we are. So until everybody does what they're supposed to do and follows mm. the measures and tries to, you know, isolate or certainly a bit of social distancing, then we might be able to get a little bit of, um, yeah. you know, you might be able to get a little bit of... Ryan Holt, let me, let me up. Ryan Holt says, if no one is asked... And it's bigger than everything. Why everyone obsessed with Liverpool not getting the title? Okay. So, okay, Ryan's obviously a red. Yeah. Which is fair enough. And he's also put, put it this way, season gets null and void, Liverpool are still defending European champions next season. So what? I mean, they're not defending champions because they've been knocked out. And no one would actually care. But, but they wouldn't if the season was null and void. They wouldn't. But the point but being the Europe, is, the, your, the no one, Champions League will get. Completed. No one's. Obs I, I'm. I'm certainly not obsessed with Liverpool not getting given the title. But the point being, right, Ryan, is how can Liverpool be given the title if the season is not completed? How? Because if Liverpool are given the title, then that means every single place in the Premier League, as we stand, has to be where they finish. So the bottom three then have to go down. The Champions League places have to be those Champions League places. You know, and then, but teams have got, you know, Villa have got a game in hand. Teams at the top of the Championship have to come up. What about the playoffs? If you haven't, you can't have a rule for one and not for everyone. So it has to be played all null and void. There's no, nothing else. You can't give someone a, a league title for a title that has not been won, for a, t for a tournament that has not been completed. It is either null and void or we play the games. There cannot be anything in between. Simple as that. They just can't be. Um, they can't be. And, and listen, I appreciate... I, we did a video on this the other day and I appreciate where Liverpool fans are coming from. Of course I appreciate that. If it was us... We would be desperate as well. We'd be we'd be throwing out every single 
But Ryan, the reason why you would void it is because it can't be if it can't be completed, then you'd have to avoid it. The next season has to start at a date so it is completed by the summer, so the Euros go ahead. That has to happen. Norm the normal world has to come. We can't knock on every other season. We just can't even if John Barnes and Steve McManaman and Robbie Fowler wanted to happen. We can't. We have to get back to normal. And why would you knock up, have a knock-on effect for every league going forward when you could just end this one? It is the way it is. It's happened in other sports. It's happened in in the football league. It happened when the World, Second World War start, um, got, got really going. They played a couple of games and then they, they stopped it. And I understand... We were champions then. We were the champions. All oh, right. We, we were the champions of both World Wars. Yeah. yeah. We did um, have 20 league titles. And I understand that this isn't Liverpool's fault. But yet, Liverpool's fan base have been... Not all of them, some of them, have been... La uh, there's a particular word, I believe it's... Is it bitter? Is it bitters? Is that the word? I wouldn't use that word. No, I wouldn't it use that. Because of the connotations, con connotations that, that of Liverpool it. Liverpool fans seem to be happy using. Now, that's a word that gets thrown around very, very easily in, in some circles of Liverpool. Um... And what that generally means is that Everton have some kind of grievance about being kicked out of Europe for something they didn't do. Um, it's life, isn't it? I, I, listen, I sympathise with if we were top of the league, I'd be I'd be going mad at this time. I'd mm. be absolutely going mad. I, just, I really would. The, the berserk nature of it is, and you'll have a different view, obviously, because you're a red, but what's berserk is, imagine thinking you'd just be awarded something that couldn't be complete. Yeah. If it's incomplete, it has yeah. to be null and void. The final nine games might be played, in which case yeah. Liverpool will deservedly win the league title. They deserve to win it. They're miles ahead. But if it can't be completed, they can't be league champions. And the season will be null and voided. And whether you like it or you don't, if games don't start up again in a few weeks' time, the season will be null and voided. Someone has said, Kevin Little has said, I think the Euros has been delayed. It has been delayed, but it's not next season. It's it's June it's, the 11th next season. It's June 11th With next no season. chance of it being moved. So it's not going to be moved next season. So that means that the, this this the next season for us can't be delayed. No. Nope. It has to be played. It starts on August 8th. It has to finish a month before, I believe, mm. the Euros. Yeah, yeah. You need a four-week gap between your league finishing and the Euros. So so the league cannot be compromised next season, which means we have to get this one finished before the end of by the end of June, they're saying, aren't they? So if it can't be completed, then Liverpool cannot be champions. The same as the bottom three can't be relegated. The same as the Champions League places will have to be um, will have to go to the teams that are in the Champions League next season. And this season, mm. Champions League will be null and void. If it is null and void, let's just say, then those teams like if you say to Man City, Man City say, well, we might have won it. We were going to win it. We were going to win so it. So just award it to Man City. So I absolutely appreciate it. I appreciate it. This isn't a Liverpool thing, though. No. It's not. It's listen. The other way round, Liverpool fans will be having a laugh at Everton. Well, Everton you have been for 35 years. Yeah, well, of course, we, I mean, we get... You've still got banners in the cup. Yeah, having still, a go at Everton for banners. not winning the European Cup when we would have walked it. But that's the way it is, isn't it? What I'm saying is, for me, it's not a Liverpool thing. We're just saying the actual reality of it is, if it isn't started up again soon, it won't be played. So it will be null and voided. Because null and void actually causes them far less issues than what it's in the rules other things start. Are. Well, yeah. but anyway it was an Everton thing I don't know why you, you spent so no I think it's important to talk about things like that though because at the end of the day it's the, that's that's the way it is Derek Houghton says sorry lads sorry lads late today watching government press conference schools now shut on Friday but children of essential workers will still attend mm. makes sense we'll see makes sense and yeah. also listen there are people out there who disgust me in the world who laugh at people for um, mentioning school dinners and why kids in school should get school. These people absolutely disgust me. That don't understand that some kids, their only me their only meal of a day that has any kind of nutritional goodness in it is the sc their school dinner. This is a fact. And this is an. This and is we've a got fact. people on Twitter laughing. Yeah, because 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 there's an but idea then that, again, that people... there's an idea that these kids will get the school dinners and they're questioning why. Well, the reason they'll get these school dinners is because. 
they might not get they might get another meal in the day they might get a bowl of bowl of nothing or a piece of toast mm. and then at night they get thrown some kind of ready meal from a microwave or whatever that might be the only meal they get all day with that's with, if they're lucky mate that's, that's if they're lucky with families that didn't have anything so people laughing on twitter unintelligent people laughing at it because that's who i've seen it's uh you know it's embarrassing and that's what we're up against, sadly. <laughs> uh, Paul McAllister says, Evan Lozano thought, should we go for him or is he overrated? Would he fit in? All I'd say about Lozano, me and then you answer, no, is that he's quick and he's direct, but his favourite position is off the left-hand side. And we've already got Bernard and we've got a Wobie. Mm. And I think for Everton, for a right a right wing position, we either need a boss right winger who goes on the outside or we need a left-footed right winger. Mm. I don't think getting a lad who wants to play off the yeah. left, it's a little bit for me. It'd be a little bit like putting a Wobie on the right when he doesn't really want to. Is that just that. like lazy journalism? Link because well, we've been know. linked with him before, mm. and now Ancelotti had him, and there's a lot of talk that the players love Ancelotti. And Brands so took him to yeah. PSV from Mexico, so we've got two reasons why. And Napoli is, is saying like, they will get. Is there not? Would there not be though a thought that if we brought him in? He would be better than the left side of players we've already got, and it would just be a case of shifting them. Maybe, maybe. But again, he's. I think I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's done enough to mm, convince me. He's been, he hasn't done anything done for Napoli, has he? Me. But I know what you're saying, Paul. He's he's talented, no yeah. question about it. But Bobby C says, "No, my luck. I'd escape a zombie apocalypse by getting on a cruise ship and then catch coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather have coronavirus than get." Chased by a zombie apocalypse. Mm. Um, Blue Boy Stu says, Everton question, worst player we've signed before Martinez for me. Pierre Colds up, totally rubbish. I mean, we, it depends what level you want, isn't it? What kind of level player you want. You could go back to people like... Klaus Thompson. Yeah. Who was terrible, Hottinger. Stefan Wren. Stefan Wren, even back on the... Hottinger, El yeah. Barrett. Elbar was a good defender, he just couldn't go forward with the ball. Stefan Wren was poor. Ray Mike Atterveld. Milligan was a disaster. My, I, Ray Atherell was all right. Stefan Wren played in the Champions League, after, well, the yeah, European yeah. Cup for Stockholm. Tobias Lindery, who came in and... He was all right. He was okay. No, but after he, was, he was like a Ray Atherell. Ray Atherell done a job for Everton, he wasn't great, but... Who was the most hyped player that ended up being terrible? Bakayoko. Was he hyped or was he just like... Hey, by me because I had him on football man's in his boss. Um, that's a tough one because mm. have we really bought anyone who who you thought was going to be amazing? Amakati was a bit. Amakati was high because he done he scored yeah. in the World Cup, hadn't he? Who was the last one for Drake? Was it Trent? Trenta. Yeah. Royston Trenta was he had good ability though. He yeah. was just that he liked hit. strippers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, he doesn't, but you know, he he really liked them. Um, Andy van der Meijden. Yeah. Andy van der Meijden was a hell of a football. He, he come here, and I thought, we oh my word!" And he, he, on occasions when he was fit and he had a game, he was boss. But then he just wasn't fit enough, and obviously had a lot of issues. Paul one two three says James beat his sign. I was extremely excited. Yeah, for, yeah. And then he just was a massive left arm. He had a, he had he had man boobs when he signed, and Jack, he was big, wasn't he? Remember mm. the fitness program they put him on? Yeah. I remember the first game, Plymouth in the FA Cup, and he blazed that one over the bar from about a yard. Michael out. Barrett, nah, I wouldn't pay forty million for Sahar. No one's paying forty million for Sahar, by the way. That contract has locked him into Palace for good. He's done. He's not leaving Palace. Um, let's have a look. Because that was from Alex Jones. who said go back for for Zahar, forty million. Day one eighty for him. Terry McAllister says Kevin De Bruyne is three assists off breaking. Terry Henry's Premier League record for nine games left. Shall we just give him the record because he's obviously going to do it? Well, if you give him things out, you may as well. I mean, for me, Everton are quite obviously going to win six of their last nine games, which will push yeah. in possibly a Champions League yeah, spot, I, I, but definitely the Europa I believe, League. So we're in, we I believe Europa. Everton will win every single game till the end of the season. So no one can prove that. No one can prove they won't, but I believe that. So can we have our points tally, please, for yeah. that? So we're in the Champions League. Can, I, can we have that? Thank you. Um, Interesting. Someone, few people criticising the lad. No, no, no. What the, the lad who came on and spoke? That's fine. I've got no problem with him. He's watching our channel. He was, he was quite. He was respect. He wasn't. Respectful. He wasn't. Uh, he was asking a question. He didn't call anyone a no, no, and we no answered. And we answered this question. And I think we were just given like 
uh, that obviously listen, I would be in exactly the same way if we. Yeah, imagine us being that far you know ahead I mean? and people were saying it. You I wouldn't be happy. That. That's but... why I sat there on a video today and argued why I think the league should finish. But ultimately, what we need, what we need to do, or what we can't do is what we need to do is finish the league if that's the way it is. But what we can't do is say, no matter when, no matter when, like all these. X Reds are saying we've got to finish it no matter no we cannot finish mm. it no matter what mm. no we can't there has to be a cut off date and by a certain cut off date if we can't finish the season then we have to go to the next season what makes me laugh is that the ones that just say why next year doesn't matter this year matters more well you're only saying that because it's your mm -hmm. See, no one's denying. Are you that good going with it next year? No, no one's denying Liverpool don't deserve to win it. Yeah. Surely, if there's people denying Liverpool don't deserve it, then they're strange, aren't they? Because you can't be that far ahead. But to to kind of go, well, next year doesn't matter. We have to finish this one. Is a bit mad for me because why the heck everything else going forward when basically you've got a Euros now next summer. Then you've got a World Cup the Christmas after. So everything's already being truncated into a smaller window so to yeah. then say it doesn't matter and we'll throw these extra night it. it just doesn't work that's the problem john paul says football is no longer important get this in our brains life is not gonna not gonna go on as we not know it wake up and take it seriously please bless you all and i hope you all stay well well said john paul you know mm. what well said and that's why we're just having general chats People want to talk about footy, we'll talk about footy, we'll talk about anything, that's the point. We're just trying to alleviate the boredom for some people and um, just, you know, entertainment. And, and for the, the thing is, football is important for a lot of people. It's people's lives. Yeah. But when people are dying, you can't put football above health. And at the moment, we all just have to do what we can do to try to help. The Mighty Blue says, hi lads, thoughts on Richarlison's new right, haircut? Cam. Thoughts on Richarlison's new haircut? But he shaved it off, hasn't he now? Yeah, I don't think that was just... He just like, done, like, a thing for Ronaldo, yeah. didn't he? Because he loves Ronaldo. We could all do that when we're getting our hair cut. Yeah. We could all, like, stop half R9, I mean, mate. Yeah. He's Is gone it? a full R9, and I've got nothing but love for yeah, him. Yeah, nothing but... Nothing Cam, but... when this uh, calms down, we'd love to have you back in, mate. Obviously, at the moment, it's one of them, isn't it? Mm. But, defo. Here we go. Yeah, where me Spoon says, what if someone built a fire pit in the middle of a track you're going to keep running people through the pit until one smouldering body finally final manages to cross the line. Okay, that was dark and I don't quite understand it. <laughs> hmm. There you go. Um, would you rather sound like Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck for the rest of your life? Mickey Mouse. Yeah, come on. He couldn't be doing that. It'd be yeah, hard. Hey, Pat. That's hey. all. Hey. Hey. Hello, Mary. Do you see that? I can, I can cope with that. They are quack quack. Drive me quack, is that? Sol Harris says, best ex atmosphere you've ever experienced at Goodison Park. I mean it. For the entire game, I would say uh, the Florentina game was incredible. But for the for a, for coming out for Zegars, the atmosphere against um, Villarreal was just going to was say. unbelievable. It was like, definite, it was it? crackling. Yeah, it was, it was oh, Like to the point where... People were like I shout, shouting years, themselves, like to the point where they were almost crying, like you know, because you get so like over the over and like then, and then emotional. We remember there was a game. We got it was incredible. It was inc well, the incredible. The noise was berserk. Was like proper. I had my fingers in my ears. It was that. It was bonkers. Like, yeah. but pretty mad. Keith Powell said, "Do you see the interviews on RT UK of the British holidaymakers in Benidorm? Not youngsters by any means. Yeah. All on the bed, all by Bevy at three pm, like you were Bevy." About um, 50 odd of them being asked to go to the apartments and replying, replying by singing, we've all got the virus, na na na, etc., and saying that's only the flu, get over it. They're Happy day, blah heads. blah. Whenever you are, wh wherever you are from, this is a sign, really a sign of severe ignorance and arrogance. Keith, what I would say, mate, is I, I, you said there weren't youngsters. I, I, I've lived in this country long enough to know, mate, that it isn't youngsters, mate. It isn't youngsters. It is It is people of that age that you've seen in the video are the cause for... What do they call them in America? Boomers. They're the cause for everything that's going wrong at the moment. It's these people who feel entitled to do whatever they want, no matter whatever. And when certainly British people have this this um, 
this arrogance that they can go to other countries around the world and do what they want and and walk all over other people's um, heritage and, and and all kinds of things. And yet, when people come when people come into this country and uh, do things, then they're the people who jump on it. Um, so I'm not surprised, mate, whatsoever. Not surprised. It's one of the one of the many reasons I don't go to these places is to get a far, as far away from those kind of people as possible. There you go. Mm. Um, what would win out, well, out of a coronavirus, coronavirus cell riding a raw turkey breast or swine flu in a mini tank? <laughs> swine flu. In a mini in tank? In a mini tank. Okay. I think, personally, I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine finishing the race before the runner even crosses the oh my finish God, line. That's some shit. Jay Nolo, I can't even I can't even read that out. out. That's really, really bad. No, we're not reading that out. That's I can't read that's that dark. Out. You've that's, gone dark. That's too dark. That's too dark. That's even too dark for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, get out of Some of these we can't read out. Kevin really. Little says people going on about a break before the season. They don't need one. They are on one now. Play remaining games in July and use it as a pre-season. But you can't, Kev, But can then you? what would be the intensity and what would be the reason of that? What would be the point of that? How could you use it as a pre-season and then go straight into the season? You can't, can you? You need you need a you need a break. You need a break. And I'll, I'm, I'm, yeah. The seasons have to be kept apart for a reason. Madness, isn't it? Uh, Ped, would you be Paul in a fight? That's from Big Palace Stew. I think we all know the answer to that, don't we? I think we all It'd know. Be <laughs> yeah. I think we all know the answer to that. Um, Michael, what, someone says, "What are the cans? These are the cans that mm. X Ale Brewery sensors all the way from London. Google them. They've you got can some... get them. Order them. There's some nice ones." X some Megan. Dortmund. Dortmund, that's the one The Dortmund one. There's a, there's a, Bosch. there's an iron brew, essence of iron brew mm. called the Cranky. This one is, that's the Cranky. And on the back, they have Spotify codes because all the beers have their own playlist. Oh, so you can have a beer, put the playlist on and just chill just out. Relax. And that's exactly Obviously what we, over 18. Yeah, and, and obviously drink you don't drink responsibly. That's all what we need. Um. Sophie says rumours that the transfer window dates are changing now. So that's the other side of it, isn't it? So you're going to have to... Don't forget all the other implications. What if Liverpool, right? They say, we're carrying on the league. And it's going past... It's going into July. Liverpool have got a kit deal with Nike. Everton will have a new kit. Uh, we'll have new sponsors. What? How does that work? How do you think New Balance would take it if the season was finished in July and Liverpool weren't wearing their kit? That they've paid that for, they've paid for this for. season. How do you think they take that? There's so many FFP. Does FFP count next season? Mm. And then that, it's the whole thing. It's what is mad. Kev, I understand that they can have a break from Martin's lie. That's four months, mate. But how can you have a season finish in one week and the next season start in the next? Nine games is still nine games. It's still, that could potentially be, that's nine weeks. It's four, four weeks tops, isn't it? Mm. Four, uh, four weeks at the very least. That's a month. That's a month. And then there's the next season's UEFA Champions League and Europa League, which there's not a chance UEFA won't How? have. So there's qualifying games we played, they just won't have it. You've got to have, so you have fre you need friendlies. You need people to get you need people to get fit and up to speed. How would it be fair on that first day if no one's had if no one's had friendlies? It can't be done. It just can't be done. It's as simple as that. We, it's dead simple. There's got to be an end date. Right? And that's got to be made clear for everybody. An end date. And then we know. And if we haven't stopped by, we haven't started by, then we can't do it. We're going to need at least a month of football to play these nine games. At least a month of football. That's my opinion. You have a different opinion. That's fine. Um, Born Mighty Boo says, do you believe that this coronavirus actually came from bats and snakes, like they were saying, no, not nope. a chance on it. I don't even think, from a scientific point of view, that's that was just a thing. What was said at the time and got out there, and people just started believing it. Man made. Ryan says, "Who's even saying the 2021 season going to start come August if this season gets voided now?" 
Well, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But the that's... Premier League have said it starts on August the 8th. That's where it's coming from. Mm. And they might be able to push that back by three weeks and have it the first week in September and still make the season doable. But it shows you that there's no room anywhere else, Ryan, in the thing. Who would win in a fight? A Grizzly Bear versus a Silverback? Well, can, can, I don't know, but Kevin, you Gorilla. are absolutely right, mate. It did come from the Dolphins. Did come from the Dolphins. Out of a lab somewhere. Uh, who would win in a this from Terry? Who would win in a fight? Grizzly Bear versus a Silverback Gorilla after the Gorilla has had a line of lemon. I think you need to. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Um, Real Tour says if you're go if you're going to start your own footy team, yeah. what tune would you have them come out to from the tunnel? I'd go for the Pink Panther theme and bring the players out one by one like that. Do them, do them, do them. Do them. What would you go for? I don't know. I'm not like massively. I'll tell, tell you what I would go for right now. The um, Dingo song. Zed, Le Zed, Zed, Led Zeppelin. Zed, Led Zeppelin. Zed Leppelin. What's it called? I don't know. What? What? Ah, oh, what's the name for people who come into the country illegally? Immigrant. The immigrant song. <laughs> That's what it's called. Don't know. God, it was like a game of guess. It was, yeah. I'd have uh, um, I'm a Barbie girl, just to throw the opposition. Okay. Does Bick says you're making it sound sensible, Baz and Ped, but let's be realistic. You are stacking up the booze to have a massive party when it gets official that they won't win it. Can't confirm or deny Can't either. confirm or deny either. Ian Clark wants to run out of the, the thing with banana splits. Classic. Michael Nixon says Russians are blaming the UK and putting this virus in China. What think? What do you think about that, lads? Ah, it's more likely to be the other way around. I can't really see the UK being able to do that. I don't think we're clever enough. Um, North Korea, definitely. Gareth Milligan says, when they decide to finish the league, do they think teams should finish it with players that were fit when it was when it was uh, halted? halted. See, there's all... <laughs> no, I think that's... It's, it's all madness, isn't it? Because, like, yeah, it's it's just a can of worms, isn't it? Stoll says, would you wear Astro Turfs for five a side or artificial grass studs? Artificial, I wear mouldies. Mouldies, it's got to be mouldies. I don't know anyone who'd wear five-side trainees for, for 3G pictures. Mm. The grass, they take a stud now. Mm. Get mouldies. If you don't wear mouldies, you're weird. Cop get coppers if you can Depends afford them. Depends what castle you're playing on. If you're playing on the concrete, There's no thing is that anymore, though, is there? I don't know. No, I don't think there is. Okay. Right. Um, Are we... Right, we're done. We're done. We're done. Just check on, now, Yeah, we're done, man. Another good hour of entertainment. Good hour of entertainment. That's what I say. Um, let's have more. Keith Powell says, I agree 100%, Ped. It's so annoying. Upsets me a lot. I've always been proud of my heritage. Like, even now, get buzzed by the World Cup song and video, World Motion. Awesome. Yeah. What was he going to I think do? it was the people. Oh, yeah. Little Englanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the prop. They're the prop. They're, listen, I, bad thing for you right now, isn't it? Well, like said, Sio could be cheap after his injury, says Eric. I think, Eric, I think as far as transfers are concerned, uh, with Everton and stuff, they've got the targets who they want there. Ancelotti and Brands, they know who they're after, they know who they're going for. There you go. You know, so I I'm not sure they'll move for other off that based on players, but why wouldn't they? Right, we are, we are out. Thank you for joining We're us. We'll be back tomorrow on Patreon, hopefully. Touch wood. Um, there's loads of videos coming out as well. Make sure to check them out. Thanks for watching. Mm. We'll Thanks to Exhale. Exhale. For this, check them out. Dun, 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 and also, wait. Check out teach.org yeah. if you can help. Go and have a look what they do. Thanks, Sir Adam. And if you want to get in touch with us, if you've got anything you need promoting over the next few weeks because uh, your shops are delivering or whatever, get in touch with us. Give us a shout. Do that. Thanks for watching. See you later. Take care.